Good evening and welcome to Maria Uncorked. I'm Maria. Today I have with me my dear friend Michelle. Hi. Thank you for saying hello. Okay, <laughs> so we're with Michelle today because Michelle is a brilliant woman and mom. However, she's domestically challenged, specifically in the kitchen department, and most recently had some challenges with chicken. So Michelle, do you want to, do you want to talk about your chicken stories? Well, I made chicken for about 10 people and it was undercooked and I got diarrhea for two weeks. I got salmonella and I had to miss work and I couldn't be away from the toilet for very long. I got so dehydrated from the diarrhea that I passed out and got a concussion. Wow, that sounds lovely. And um, <laughs> I've heard from your family that the other chicken meals you have made aren't any better. Well, two so, other people got affected too. There's only three total. Okay, but I'm just not talking about that meal. I'm talking about others. They're <laughs> inedible. So what we're going to do is teach you to make something that is digestible, um, won't give people the poopies, tastes really good, it's really fast, and we're going to do some side items, all of which you can do from like your local market. Great. We're going to go Mediterranean tonight. That and sounds awesome. It'll be good, and no one will get sick. Sounds perfect. Okay, let's do this. Come on. Okay, Michelle, are you ready? I think so. I'm a little nervous. Don't be nervous. Okay. So we're gonna make chicken. We're gonna marinate chicken. Now this marinade is very easy and you can do it the night before, you can do it in the morning. You just want at least two hours to marinate and you okay, can do it up definitely to- definitely not the morning. Well, okay, well I'm Who just saying- Who has that time in the morning? People that don't work. But, oh. But, but someone like you that works the night before, mix the stuff up, put it in the refrigerator, and when you come home from work, you're gonna cook it. Okay. okay so the first thing you do is you're gonna, uh, we're using chicken breast. We have uh, green wise, or natural, I would hope chicken's natural, but anyways, it's, it's chicken. And you can do this with chicken thighs or chicken breasts. So we're gonna open the package up and put it in there. Okay, um, can I use the knife to you open? Use the knife. Okay. And uh, chicken thighs are great because they're, they, they're juicy and they go wonderful on a grill. Uh, if, you're, if you want a leaner meat, like white meat only, then I use chicken breasts. So this is a pound and a half of meat. This is perfect for a family of four. Maybe not your family because you have bigger kids, but an average family of four, like my family of four, with two kids oh, okay. and us. You're definitely not my family of four. Or, okay, you figure seven, eight ounces per person. Teenage mm -hmm. boys, you go 10 to 12 ounces. Okay. So this is an average of four, okay? So okay. wash your hands, because no one wants to get salmonella. Yes, I've learned, I've learned. Is this the right thing? That's, they're both soap. Okay. Just pick Good. your favorite. Okay. Okay. Okay, good. Now we're gonna do the marinade. Okay. So we're not gonna use this because I'll wash that later. Okay, so we're gonna, we have yogurt. Oh. Okay, so you can open that up. Okay. Greek and yogurt. Greek Love yogurt. It. Okay, we're gonna dump that in there. And I'm using um, one small packet, which is about eight ounces, I think, in there. What's it? Uh, eight, four, oh no. Six ounces? It's one of these small things. 5.3 5 ounces. 5.3 ounces. ounces. Okay, that's what we're using. I might need a spoon. I can't get it all out. Okay. So far, even I can handle this. All right. And you can use, the key is plain yogurt. Okay. You plain. want plain oh, yeah, yogurt. Plain yogurt. Plain okay, yogurt. It can be vanilla. Greek, okay. um, non-fat. It can be American. It doesn't make a difference. You just want it to be plain. Okay. Okay. So now you are going to cut this lemon in half. You just cut it right here on this. Let's cut it in half. Right there. Okay. Okay. You're gonna squeeze lemon juice in there. Is there any, am I supposed to be twisting it? Twi yes, you okay. twist. <laughs> Good. <laughs> and depending on how juicy your lemons are, you want about two tablespoons. So that should be good. Okay. That's perfect. Okay, pour it in there. Pour it in. Okay. Good, now you're gonna grab the olive oil. Okay. That's the green bottle. Okay. Okay, and pour that baby in there. Pour that baby in there. Just go one, two, three. Oh dear. Um, I, I like being measured. Okay. One, one two, three. two, three. Perfect. Ah! Done. Okay. Excellent. Now we're gonna do salt and pepper. So you're gonna do salt. Okay. Sprinkle salt. Just a sprinkle. Do you Actually, no. Measure? You're gonna go heavy with salt. Oh, heavy with. Well, because salt is a seasoner. So good. Okay, that's good. No, pour no. more. Tenderize it. Good. That's good? It's very good. Okay. Add some pepper. All right. And add pepper depending on how oh, much you like. I think we'll do the sprinkle. Yes. The, when pepper, use the one with the small holes. 
Okay. Just a little bit. Go ahead. You can add a little bit more. That's very good. Okay. Now we're going to do garlic. All so right. it depends, again, this depends on how much garlic your family likes. We like garlic. Okay. So for you, we're going to use, I've got about six cloves in there, okay? So we're going to pour those in there. Okay. And then you're going to press that in there. Okay. Squeeze it in. Squeeze. Love the garlic press. Oh, yeah. Good. Okay. Okay. Shall I so, use the knife? Yeah, do that. Yeah, okay. yeah. Okay. And then you can reverse it and it'll push the other stuff in there. Reverse. Okay. I should, I should put this chunky stuff in yes. there? Yes. It's, it's all going to get mixed together. Okay. It's fine. Okay. Mix that up. With the board? Yes. Mix, 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 mix. Keep going. Go down. Now, here is the key part cumin. Oh, here we yes. go. Okay. Again, depending on family sensitivity, I love cumin. Okay, so we'll just do a small amount. Okay. Give it a like a teaspoon. That's not a teaspoon. That's you have no measurement skills. Look. Ah! That's a teaspoon. That's Make a sure. lot of. It's to be fine. A teaspoon. Now, this is. That was like three tablespoons. You, I think. Math is not your your subject. Neither is cooking. Well, I was an English teacher. Okay, then you can correct me on my grammar. But right now we're doing cooking. <laughs> and then the heat factor. So depending if you like heat, if you want spicy, you can do. I like you like spicy. Okay, you like spicy. So we're gonna do. You can do red pepper. You can do sriracha. You can do smoked paprika. Um, so I've actually, because tonight we're going to be feeding a lot more people, we're doing this as an example for four. We're going to do smoked paprika. Okay. Because my kids are going to be eating this tomorrow. Okay. And then the marinade I made is the same amount. Keep going. But I used sriracha. More? More? Yeah, that's good. Okay. That one you're going to do about a quarter teaspoon uh, if you're just using the smoky flavor. If you want spice, what I recommend doing, depending on your spice, Taste is add some chili, mix it up, taste it with your finger, and then be like, mm, I can use some more. So you want to put your finger in there, it's clean, you just wash your hands, and taste it. You're not going to blow up. It's very good. I know. It's exactly. It's really okay. good. So dump it on the chicken. Okay, please. Just dump it on the chicken. Dump it on the chicken. Just dump it. Just, just go to town. Use your fingers. What? You're going to massage the meat. Get I, I don't know. <laughs> All right. So we're good. Now we're gonna let this sit and we're gonna go grab some wine and then we're gonna make the side dishes. Sound good? Can I lick it? Is it bad for me? Bad idea. You know why? <gasps> Raw oh chicken! Diarrhea! Oh my god, I can't believe I did that! Oh my god, what's wrong with you? Yes, I got the diarrhea! I quit! Michelle, you ready? I think so. I need one more sip. Okay. I'm ready now. Okay, we're gonna make the side veggies that are gonna go with our chicken. Okay. We're gonna do skewers, the vegetables. So whenever you use bamboo skewers or the wooden skewers, it's very important, like these guys here, to soak them in water. I already did that. Oh, okay. You don't want them catching on fire. Okay. So that's why you soak them in water first. And How much in advance? I, uh, well, depending on what time, it doesn't make a difference what time you do it, but probably if you're gonna be, like I did this about an hour ago and I soaked it for 20 minutes, let them dry a little bit, and now they're ready to go. You just want them some moisture in there so that when they're on the flame, because it is wooden, uh, or bam, or it's one of those things, they want to catch on fire. Okay, so we're gonna do the key to grilling vegetables on a skewer, on a grill, is put all the same vegetables on the same skewer. Okay, Be we never do that. And do they all come out different t temperatures and textures when you cook them? Some yes. are overcooked and some are crunchy, some are raw. Yes. Yes, it's, it's, it's infuriating and I hate it and it ruins my meal. So we're gonna do it this way and then it's delicious. So for example, look, all the tomatoes go in there and when the tomatoes are done on the grill, you take them off while the vegetables that cook longer stay on there. That is so genius. So we and always mix it up so it looks kind of pretty, but it never yes. like But it cooks tastes evenly. pretty, no. Yeah, right, okay. so now, okay. I'm, that, so this is good. we'll finish this one, but the key is whatever you're putting on the skewer should be the same size, right? So I'm gonna demonstrate. Uh, actually, I'm gonna let you do this. What is this one called? It's a zucchini. A zucchini, okay. And the shape should be very familiar to me. <laughs> I like this one. 
How does that she do? <laughs> John, we found a look-alike. <laughs> Lucky Michelle. All okay. right. The best night of my life. Trim. <laughs> okay, this is I honestly have never worked with a zucchini. Only the man hype. Okay, <laughs> I'll show you how it works. Sorry, John. Oh, damn. Okay, now we want these to be around the same size. So this is a good vegetable chef's knife. It's ideal for cooking. It's already been cleaned. The, the vegetables already been cleaned. So you want the same thickness. Okay. So these are all about, okay, less than an inch thick, but they're about the same thickness. You can okay. see, okay? okay? So now you can thread this baby. Just take one and put those on there. No, do this way. Yeah. Add the middle? I, I would do it this way. Oh. Yeah. See, <laughs> you can tell I've never done this That's before. That's okay. And we're gonna do that with all the vegetables. <laughs> So you need room for your fingers okay. to rotate them. And then when we're done, we're gonna slide them off on a platter and you have these beautiful rows of colored vegetables. So you'll get that pretty look that you wanted with your original yeah. skewer of veggies that doesn't work because everything's differently cooked. <laughs> Okay, so now we're almost done with all the veggie skewers. So we did tonight. Do you remember what this vegetable's called? That's zucchini, but yes, the, uh, and squash. Yes, they're both um, yes part of the same family. Mushroom. We have assorted uh, bell peppers that we cut to be the same thickness and width, approximately. So those are good to go. So when they go on the grill, so they don't burn, they have a little bit of flavor. We're gonna take olive oil, okay? Some lemon juice. Oh, that's the one from before. This one? No, yeah, no, that's new, that's new. Okay. Okay, just need a little bit. Uh, pepper. Salt, and remember, never underestimate the power of salt before cooking, okay? And then you're gonna mix this baby up and brush the veggies. Okay. And this will keep them, one, from sticking to the grill and it'll give them some flavor because just vegetables on a grill plane are wonderful, but the salt makes a huge difference and the lemon and the olive oil will add that nice Mediterranean flavor. If you want more flavor, you can always add um, some oregano or some fresh parsley, but I prefer to add the fresh herbs at the end after they're cooking. If you want, if you don't have any fresh herbs, then I would do the dried herbs now. You just a little sprinkle of them and they'll go a long way. So while you brush those vegetables, I'm gonna cut the knot. So we have three types of knot. We have little mini ones, whole wheat ones, garlic, big ones, and big whole wheats. You can use any type of soft, thicker bread, a pita. Um, you can use flatbreads. You use whatever you want. So while you're marinating and brushing these vegetables with the olive oil base. Uh -huh. I am going to cut these breads in half. We're going to do naan on the grill. Okay. Because we're doing Mediterranean. Okay. And we're doing the chicken on the grill, the grilled veggies. Okay. And, and then we want like a bread to go with it, right? Okay, okay. You can also do, if you have time, you can do rice pilaf or potato, but for the sake of quick cooking, we're going to do bread on the grill because it takes 30 seconds each side. Great. The, it depends on the time and how elaborate you want this meal to be. So we are doing an example of a quick Tuesday night dinner. Oh. Chicken, veggies, bread on the grill, you're done. Okay? I love it. Good. All right, so everything's ready. Okay. We're brushed. Yep. Let's go out to the grill, cook dinner, and then we're done. Okay. I'm excited. I am, I'm excited to use the grill. All right, Michelle, grill is on. Okay. You see it's heating up. Yep. We're going to spray it. So do you know why we spray? So it doesn't stick. Oh my God, you're so smart. I know, but, so I've, never, good. but I've never grilled, so. Okay. Well, that's okay. You, you like learn. a big grill, don't you? I do. I love it. This is my Mother's Day present last year. Was it? Yeah. It's awesome. I love it. Okay. So nice and sprayed. Okay. You want the grill to be at least 400 degrees. Okay. 400 to 450 would be ideal when you're cooking the chicken. Okay. Everyone's grill's different. Some are, you know, big, bigger flames and stuff, but... um. I think we're here. So that says 
just 400, about 400. 400, 400. Yeah. Okay, so we're going to get the the chicken ready to put on there. So, so this is my first question. How do you know if you should put the chicken on first or the vegetables on first? So the chicken takes longer to cook and it's going to take about a total of 20 minutes to cook. Okay. If you're using breast meat, it'll take longer. The thighs, depending on how thin they are, I'll, I'll, it'll take 15 to 20 minutes. The breast will take, depending how thick it is, will take 20 to 25. So we're going to do the chicken first. The vegetables take five minutes. So we'll put those oh, towards the end. And the bread takes one minute. So we're going to start with chicken, add the veggies, and add the bread at the end. Perfect. Okay. okay. And the whole thing takes less than half an hour, which is great. Okay, so grill's on. We're good to go. Yeah. So we're going to add the um, chicken. So I'm going to hold the platter, and I'm going to let you scoop the chicken on, and then I'm going to throw this inside. I, I don't know where to put it on. I really, I, I don't That's know. That's fine. Okay. So I will demonstrate, and you're going to do the rest, okay? Okay. So we have, these are chicken thighs. They're the thinner ones. So they're going to go there, okay? The breast is it thick. It fell down. It's on, it's on a grate still. It's good. Okay. So the thicker one, I have, I have some thick breasts also. Okay. So we'll put those on. Uh, they'll take longer, so we'll put those on first towards the back. The back tends to catch a lot of the heat. And this grill. Everyone's grill is different. Close the grill, okay? Because you want to keep it around... 400 or 425, okay? So, because we opened it, it down, so we're gonna bring it back up, and we're gonna check it in about five or six minutes. We're gonna check it, it should have a nice crust grill mark on it, and then we'll flip it, okay? Let's hear it. Oh my God, Michelle? Let's check it, I'm so excited. Woo! Let's go. Oh, look at those grill marks, are you ready? Okay, yes. I'm going to um, check the temperature of the grill of the chicken. What's the temperature again for Donis? 165. Yes, very good. Start rotating the veggies, okay? Do I rotate this like this, just with yes. my hands? So, so it, yes, so it doesn't burn, okay? okay? All right, here we go. So uh, we're going to give it about two minutes. Okay. And then we're two minutes? Check. Yes. The okay. vegetables go quick. They're okay. not meat. They're water. Oh, okay. Okay. Two minutes, twist, turn, done. Oh, this is perfection. Oh my God. Michelle, you have cooked this so well. I'm so excited. Okay. So we've got the this going, right? Chicken's done. Everything's done. We're going to put the, while you're doing the veggies, I'm going to go ahead and put the, the bread on here. I love these gloves. They're fantastic. So, grill gloves, great investment. Literally, I have found no peace. Like, that was amazing. Ready? I was so, nervous and I'm not nervous anymore. Okay, so we're going to take about two minutes to do this, and we're going to come back and show you the final product. Be in a minute. Yay. Look what you made. Well, I had a little help. Your direction. Okay. But you did this. Okay. So, taste, test number one is the taste. And test number two will be tomorrow if everyone goes through the night without poopies. Oh my gosh. That would be amazing. Okay. Do we have any taste testers? Anyone? Anyone? You might remember me from the movie Ratatouille. <laughs> John. You're a very extensive culinary chef and critique. Feel free to judge. I do all the time. When it comes to cooking, that is. The aroma's delicious. Just taste it. The texture is Just eat subtle. I know you're out there. I love you, but I don't know if Michelle okay. made right. that is fantastic. I love the flavor. I don't know if I eat Michelle's cooking. Mm. I eat your cooking. <laughs> okay, that yeah. is good. Yeah, I don't think you've ever <laughs> had one. I've never had one. Oh, she's got a bigger piece than me. Hey, well, that's you know. That's good. That's so much good flavor. Uh, okay, that's really good. Yeah. Okay, can I have a piece? Can no. I have a piece? Yes, right here. No. 
No. Look at this. What does that mean? Make sure it's cooked. We know this, what happened last part. time. This is the grilled part. Oh. And it's the best part. So yeah, oh, well, I'm not even proud of it. Yeah. Really I'm more proud of myself. It's garlic. Okay. It's juicy. It's All right. Hard. Yeah. Well, everyone, thank you for watching tonight's episode of Maria and Court. And if you enjoyed it and want to learn to make chicken, or just learn how to cook any kind of poultry without poisoning anybody, hit like and subscribe. Thanks so much. See you next week. Yay.